641 now to the rebound Milwaukee and a focus on our local economy from sports without fans to restaurant closures downtown Milwaukee certainly took a huge hit because of the pandemic but a major announcement this week could have an enormous impact in downtown on the growth and development of that area we of course are talking about Giannis Antetokounmpo signing that five-year Supermax contract and if you are not a Bucks fan or don't care about basketball really this signing will still impact you we want to bring in editor-in-chief Mark Cass with the Milwaukee Business Journal to talk more about that element of Giannis staying in Milwaukee. Mark, always good to have you. Thanks so much for waking up early with us. Of course. Always good to be here. Well, so let's talk about the impact that Giannis will have. You know, you and okay. I have been, all of us have been around forever, right? We remember the time <laughs> when nobody came to watch the Bucks. They always came to watch the superstar on the other team. And so yep. now we have that guy that people want to see. How does that impact everyone? I mean, this is huge because it helps both, it helps them and it helps really everything around the arena. I mean, there's mess for them because it's going to sell more tickets, of course. It's also going to sell more sponsorships. It's going to help them internationally with the sponsors. So it's really, really great for the team. It's also great around the arena. Think about all the energy, all the people. You know, everybody remembers a couple of years ago when we were in the Eastern Conference finals. You had thousands of people around there eating in the restaurants at the retailers, shopping at the stores. It was just a great energy. So that's really going to help the area. Having him here for this time is really going to just include that and be great for the city. Mark, I feel like this is something we haven't talked uh, enough about. Yes, thank you, Giannis, for staying. But yes. Bucks ownership and management stepped up. They did offer him a quarter billion dollars. I think about this ownership group. I think about the Yelich deal with the Brewers. You know, God bless the Herb Cole box and the Sea League era with the Brewers. But I feel like these were the deals that used to not get done. Yeah, I mean, it is a new era in sports here. Think of what's going on in Milwaukee, really in the state right now, all the money that's being invested. You have to thank that because, I mean, just think three, four, five years ago, I mean, it was a real fear this was not going to happen. They were going to leave town. The Bucks were going to leave. There'd be nothing down in that area right now. Now the ownership is investing in the team. They've expanded. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, they've added a new arena. They've added everything around the arena. In the future, hopefully a hotel. Uh, other things around the arena, really energy there. I mean, I remember back when, you know, after April through April through June, July, nothing would happen downtown. <laughs> now you have everything that's happening in that area throughout 12 months of the year. So let's hope we get to a point where we can be at the games again, Mark. So let's talk about yet a really interesting feature in your um, new paper, or online paper, but about uh, hotels, three hotels opening at yes. this point right now. And I, I thought the word campus was really interesting. What is going on with that? Yeah, I mean, it's three hotels right in the middle of downtown opening earlier this week. What's kind of unusual is, one, because it's opening now and we're, we're obviously in the midst of what's going on, but two, it's three hotels that are kind of connected, so you have kind of a thing, thing there. They can share services, offer, you know, help each other out, you know, have things. So, I mean, it really works. It'll be interesting to see, though, how many people will stay there. I think this is kind of a trial run to see how things get going, kind of allow them to get up and running. So hopefully by spring, when hopefully things open up more, and there's more travelers, because right now hotels are hurting. I mean, hotels are maybe a quarter percent full at all, so it's really, really been hard for them. But to open these hotels in that area, I think it's great for the city, again, because it's more travelers over the long term, and, you know, that helps the economy. Mark Cass, Editor-in-Chief of the Milwaukee Business Journal. Mark, always thank you for your perspective. And Thanks. you can read always more. Always good to be here. 645 on TMJ4 News. You can always read more. Go to bizjournals.com slash Milwaukee.